Hello everyone. In our previous video, we took out a little block into the layout in a landscape and a portrait manner. So, um, we are going to create a template out of this. Yeah, and uh, the thing that you are going to do is just creating layers and uh, creating a new dimension style and also uh, textile also. So, I'm going to undock that one, maximize it. That was because my layers, my layer properties on the zone. So, I'm just going to close out and uh, click on it once more. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to create new layers and uh, The first layer that I'm going to create is grids. I'm going to give it a gray color and I'm going to give it a center line. Center. I'm going to select my center, say OK. I'm also going to create a new layer which is, uh, I call it hatch. Yeah, and uh, I'll give it a deep gray color, and uh, this one will give, we'll give it a continuous, oh, and align it, align it, I'll give it a line of 0 0.05, and for my grids, I'll give it a 0 0.09. I'm also, let me, okay. I'm also gonna create another layer called walls. I'm gonna give it a yellow orientation. Yellow color, sorry, not orientation. I'm gonna give it a continuous line type and a thickness of 0 0.25. And say OK. So, another layer, I'll call it reinforcement. I'm going to give it a CM color, continuous, but a line width of 0 0.5. Another layer, I'll call it viewport, we we'll give it a green color. Uh, I'll just give it a default line width and the continuous. But for this, I don't want it to print out, so I'm just going to click on that icon, print icon, printer like icon, so, so that you cannot print out. And you can notice that this new layer that I've created borrows all this from the previous layer that I created, so I will need to change that. So the next one is text, and I'm going to give it a yellow color. Default of uh, 0 0.25. The continuous one. And I'll make that one. Sorry. That printer icon. That line with settings. That one. I'm gonna create another layer. I call it. Uh, I'm going to give it a red color and say OK. I'm going to give it a line width of uh, 0 0.09 and say OK. I'll add another one and I'll call it beams. And most of the time in layouts it's hidden. So I'm going to give it a um, Let's say magenta and uh, give it a line width of 0 0.05. Yeah, so those are my layers. I can right click once more, allow docking, and dock my layer property manager. 
so do some layers I can also create uh, new textiles if I want to in our previous video we created the general text but you can also create your own yeah I don't need to create another text so I'll just cancel out for dimension style the default one I annotate uh, ISO 25 from standard but you can create a new one and uh, I'll call it bomb card class you have an option of applying it to only the linear, angular, radius and so on dimensions but I'll apply it to all the dimensions and I'll start with ISO 0.25 and continue yeah the dimension is basically made made of uh, extension lines which are these ones the extension lines and the dimension lines which are the ones with the arrows and basically the text so all the settings are here we're gonna look at a future video on how to manipulate the settings but for dimension color I'm gonna put red line type I'm gonna put by layer by layer by layer by layer I'm gonna put all this by layer but the color is the one which I'm gonna change them to red all this here look at a feature video so uh, arrowheads I'm gonna choose cross field closed field text I'm gonna choose a uh, general text and uh, the color for the text I'm gonna choose yellow that works best for me yeah all these other ones oh yeah and do you wanna change this one to 25 a scale of 25 let's just with us let's just start with a scale of 25 and uh, fit options we, we always keep our text between the lines yeah and uh, text placement besides the navigation line yeah so that's just uh, about it in the dimension style so I'm gonna say okay and you have a custom dimension you can also close out so the remaining thing now we are going to save this this drawing but not as a drawing this time but as a drawing template yeah uh, these are all the templates this is the location for all the templates that AutoCAD has so we'll add ours here so I shall just name it or oh, create it one previously, I shall just overwrite it. Yes, I want to replace it, and I want to say OK. Save all layers and reconcile. Yeah. So that's our new template, and I can um, when I go to new, I can always find my template there, and when I open it find all my layers there I'll find my layer my layout is okay my layout are all okay so that's the basic step of creating a layout yeah and uh, if you found this video helpful you can show your friends and uh, if you have any queries or suggestions you can also comment below so thank you for joining me and I'll see you in our next video.